Welcome to another spherical moment. The n harmonic number is not an integer. This is from from Putnam. For any integer n more than 1, let Sn be the sum of reciprocals 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 up to 1 over n and prove that Sn is never an integer. Sn is also known as the n harmonic number. Can you figure out a proof? We shall discuss an elementary proof that is, it does not involve advanced tools like the periodic valuation or results like the Bertrand postulate in number theory. Given an integer n more than 1, let k be the largest integer such that 2 to the power of k is less than or equal to n. That is, n is equal to 2 to the power of k, or n lies strictly between 2 to the power of k and 2 to the power of k plus 1. For simplicity, we illustrate the proof idea on the example n equals to 11 in which case k is 3. First, write out the expression of Sn. Note that the reciprocal of 2 to the power of k minus 1 is 1 quarter, while the reciprocal of 2 to the power of k is 1 eighth. Multiply both sides by 2 to the power of k minus 1. Next, subtract half on both sides. Then we have 2 to the power of k minus 1 multiplied by Sn minus half on the left hand side and a bunch of integers and fractions on the right-hand side. Now, we are not going to evaluate the expression. Instead, the claim is that on the right-hand side, each term is either an integer or a fraction with odd denominator at its simplest form. For if the denominator of some fraction is even, say 2i, for some integer i at least 1, then 2 to the power of k minus 1 over m equals to 1 over 2i for some integer m where 2 to the power of k minus 1 over m is the fraction before reducing to simplest form. Note that 2 to the power of k minus 1 over m originated from 1 over m in the expression of Sn. This implies m equals to 2 to the power of k multiplied by i. Now if i equals to 1, then m is simply 2 to the power of k. 1 over 2i is precisely the term half that was brought over to the left hand side where we previously minus half on both sides. It should not be on the right hand side, a contradiction. If i is at least 2, then m is at least 2 to the power of k plus 1, which is strictly larger than n, then the term 1 over m should not even appear in the original expression of Sn, a contradiction again. So the claim follows, since all fractions have odd denominators at its simplest form, the sum of the right hand side has a fractional part with odd denominator at its simplest form. Recall that our aim is to show Sn is not an integer. Now if Sn is an integer, it's easy to see that the left hand side has fractional part half. This contradicts with the conclusion on the right hand side. Hence, Sn is not an integer. This concludes the proof. There are three points I would like to highlight about this proof. First, as mentioned, it's an elementary proof without the involved use of tools or results in number theory. Second, the argument demonstrates the proof technique of using an element with maximal property, in this case k being the largest power of 2 at most n. This is a general technique often found useful in different branches of mathematics. Third, it involves a subtle and clever modification to the maximal property argument by multiplying with the second largest power, 2 to the power of k minus 1, to create the contradiction of even and odd denominators. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for the latest video. Leave in comments any problems or topics you are interested in. Alternatively, you may email me. Thank you for watching.